Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer at Christ the King Anglican Church. Today is Wednesday, February 28th. In the prayer book, our service begins on page 11. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Dearly beloved, the scriptures teach us to acknowledge our many sins and offenses, not concealing them from our heavenly Father, but confessing them with humble and obedient hearts that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. We ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before Almighty God, but especially when we come together in his presence to give thanks for the great benefits we have received at his hands, to declare his most worthy praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things which are necessary for our life and our salvation. Therefore, draw near with me to the throne of heavenly grace. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises, declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, desires not the death of sinners, but that they may turn from their wickedness and live. He has empowered and commanded his ministers to pronounce to his people, being penitent the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardons and absolves all who truly repent and genuinely believe his holy gospel. For this reason, we beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that our present deeds may please him, the rest of our lives may be pure and holy, and that at the last we may come to his eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Continuing on page 13 together. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O oh, come, let us adore him. Together the Venite. O oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tested me, and put me to the proof, though they had seen my works." Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, It is a people that err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways, of whom I swore in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O oh, come, let us adore him. We'll now have our psalm and our reading for the morning. The psalm this morning will be Psalm 144 found on page 460. Blessed be the Lord my strength, who teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. My hope and my fortress, my stronghold and deliverer, my defender in whom I trust, who subdues the peoples under me. O Lord, what is man that you have shown such respect to him? or the son of man that you so regard him. Man is like a thing of naught. His time passes away like a shadow. Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. 
Touch the mountains and they shall smoke. Cast forth your lightning and scatter them. Shoot out your arrows and consume them. Send down your hand from above. Deliver me and take me out of the great waters from the hand of strangers. Whose mouth talks of vain things and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song unto you, O God, and sing praises unto you upon a ten-stringed lute. You have given victory to kings and have delivered David, your servant, from the peril of the sword. Save me and deliver me from the hand of strangers, whose mouth talks of vain things and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. That our sons may grow up as young plants, and that our daughters may be as the polished corners of the temple. Our storehouses may be full and plenteous with all manner of grain, that our sheep may bring four thousands and ten thousands in our fields. That our oxen may be strong to labor, that there be no decay, no leading into captivity, and no outcry in our streets. What be are the people of whom this is so, Indeed, blessed are the people who have the Lord for their God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Today we continue our reading in the Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 12th chapter, beginning at the 22nd verse. Then a demon-depressed man, who was blind and mute, was brought to him, and he healed him so that the man spoke and saw. And all the people were amazed and said, Can this be the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, It is only by Beelzebul, the prince of demons, that this man casts out demons. Knowing their thoughts, he said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste and no city or house divided against itself will stand. And if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then will his kingdom stand? And if I cast out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the Spirit of God that I cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. Or how can someone enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man? Then indeed he may plunder the house. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. Therefore I tell you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven people, but the blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. And whoever speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, either in this age or in the age to come. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or make the tree bad and its fruit bad, for the tree is known by its fruit. You brood of vipers, how can you speak good when you are evil? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. The good person out of his good treasure brings forth good and the evil person out of his evil treasure brings forth evil. I tell you, on the day of judgment, people will give account for every careless word they speak, for by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. Then some of the scribes and Pharisees answered him, saying, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. But he answered them, An evil and adulterous generation seeks for a sign. But no sign will be given to it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For just as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish, so will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonah, and behold, something greater than Jonah is here. The queen of the south will rise up at the judgment of this generation and condemn it, for she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and behold, 
something greater than Solomon is here. When the unclean spirit has gone out of a person, it passes through waterless places seeking rest, but finds none. Then it says, I will return to my house from which I came. And when it comes, it finds the house empty, swept, and put in order. Then it goes and brings with it seven other spirits more evil than itself, and they enter and dwell there. And the last state of that person is worse than the first. So also will it be with this evil generation. While he was still speaking to the people, behold, his mother and his brothers stood outside asking to speak with him. But he replied to the man who told him, Who is my mother and who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers, for whoever does the will of my father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle assigned for today is found in your prayer book on page 85. The bottom of 85 is Ecce Deus. Surely it is God who saves me. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore, you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day, you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things. And this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion. Bring out your joy, for the Great One in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And on page 20, together, the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our service continues on page 21. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and take not your Holy Spirit from us. The Collect of the Day Almighty God, you know that we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. Keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversities that may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts that may assault and hurt the soul. 
through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing you have made, and you forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness may obtain of you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our prayer focus this morning is for our missionaries, and I invite prayers both silently and out loud at this time. Heavenly Father, I thank you for always loving us and showing us your mercy. I would especially ask, Lord, that you would uh, build up and bless our um, missions church in the South Valley and uh, allow that church to prosper and thrive and provide it with the leadership that it needs and strengthen and encourage Father Trot. Yes, Lord. Each of us is called to a mission field of sorts. It's identified by you. And some of us are called in a deeper way to those that live around us, to those that are far off, to those that are <clears throat> incarcerated. And so, Lord, I ask that those um, mission people, such as those who help with uh, LifeQuest and with CareNet, and um, the, the youth of this country, Jean Johnson. I ask that you guide them to say the right words, to be the people that bring those who are troubled into your fold so that your sheep are not lost. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we do lift up to you all the various forms of mission and outreach which Christ the King supports um, officially and the forms of outreach that the members of Christ the King have supported for decades uh, with their prayers and with their pocketbooks. Um, Jean Johnson, from, from the time she got out of high school and through college, has been supported by the people of this church and Father Trot has been active in Kairos and has always had a church um, in a part of Albuquerque that struggles financially and and has uh, had a heart for those people. Um, there are so many forms of outreach that we have supported and so we ask you Lord to continue to lead us, show us the things that you would have us support and show us how you would have us support these forms of outreach, show us new forms you would have us support and the things that you would uh, perhaps have us set aside for a season or different ways you would have us support the outreach that is, uh, that is your work you would have supported in this world at this time. Uh, you move in different ways in different seasons and we ask that you would show us which ways in this season you would have supported all these things we ask in your name. On page 26, our service concludes. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And together we say the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.